Karina from Health Clothes and today I want to share with you five common counterproductive ways of spreading vegan message. These are the ways that I tried myself at the beginning of my vegan journey 10 years ago and they failed me each and every time. So please be smart and learn from my mistakes. Number one, judging others. You are eating that carcasses. You are an animal killer. You paid someone to kill that animal for you. This is the approach that you may use only if you want to push people away from you and your message. And even perhaps make them want to eat animal products even more. The right approach would be to try to understand that other people simply might have different points of views for some or other reasons. I know it might be hard because it's against your passion and your beliefs, but if you want to be accepted, you have to accept others as well. What you should always do is to lead by example and explain nicely and calmly only when and if the listener is ready for your message. Number two, not giving a solution. Give up on meat, don't you see it's a dead animal? How would you like to have your dog in your plate? All you succeed in with this approach is that people go home with your message and they are thinking, okay, I shouldn't eat this, but what should I eat? I don't know any vegan food. I'll just continue with what I was doing. The right approach would be, I'm making this awesome dinner tomorrow. Would you like to join me? I know, we know, it's vegan, it's not your thing, but believe me, it is so delicious, you're gonna ask for more and you're gonna even ask for the recipe. And I'll be so happy to share this recipe with you so that you can make this delicious meal whenever you want for yourself. And even sometimes invite me for dinner. Number three not providing scientific background. If you eat meat, you'll get the cancer. That's a childish approach. Whenever you are making such big statements, always make sure to provide a resource, a researcher, a study, a book. I'll give you two examples of major approach. Harvard's nurses study, the longest study on nutrition, showed an obvious link between animal protein intake and mortality, heart disease, and cancer risk. China's study, the largest study on nutrition, showed that people who eat more animal-based food are more prone to developing cancer, kidney failure, osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, and so on. I highly recommend you to read China's study by Dr. Colin Campbell or see the movie Forks Over Knives. They are both scientific and valuable resources. Number four showing traumatizing pictures exclusively. If you are posting on social medias or sending in emails some traumatizing pictures from factory farms or slaughterhouses, all you're doing is linking your name to those pictures. Just imagine a situation. A person gets two emails. One is from you and the other is from a marketing campaign from a meat industry. And the person already knows if they open your email, they'll see these traumatizing pictures that are gonna ruin their day. And if they open the other email, the email from the meat industry, they're gonna see this delicious looking food in a beautiful setting. So what do you think? Which email most people are more likely to open and which one to delete? It's not a rocket science. So just use the trick that meat industries are using. They hide the ugly truth, they make it invisible. And they offer their final product in a false, I agree, but eye appealing way. And that is what people are attracted to. And then irony happens. People link that delicious looking food, those beautiful pictures to meat industries, and the ugly truth that they hide, they link to you because you show that truth. I'm not saying we should close our eyes, but what I'm saying is that most people are just not ready for that ugly truth. So the right approach would be to offer vegan message through beautiful photos of delicious vegan food and telling people about the benefits of vegan diet, the benefits for the environment, for their health, their youthfulness, their skin, their beauty, and so on. I know, I know, it sounds egocentric to think only about the benefits for oneself, but sometimes that's just the right way for people's hearts. And this is what I hear over and over again. When people once get into the vegan lifestyle, 
even maybe through that egocentric message. Well, anyway, they get to the vegan lifestyle. And that is when they are ready to see that ugly truth that is hidden by the meat industries. And that is when they feel connection and when they feel compassion. Number five, offering long explanations. If somebody asks you, what, you don't eat meat? Why not? What's wrong with the meat? Sometimes it's just not the right time for long explanations. And the best answer is, I just don't like the taste of it. Or, I don't like lies and actually I can't stand lies. But sometimes this is a lie I would say. Uh, it's just that I'm so allergic to meat and dairy products that if I eat them, I may end up in the hospital. The bottom line is, focus on the world you want to see. Ignore the opposite, don't even mention it, don't even name it. And that opposite will weaken and weaken and eventually poof, disappear. And the world you focus on will strengthen and strengthen. And all of a sudden it will just boom all around you. If you resonate with my message, please give this video a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to hear your opinions on this topic, so please leave your comments down below and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, I would be more than happy to answer to you. You can follow me daily on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr, all under Health Clothes. A new video is coming every Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Until next Wednesday, keep glowing! Bye bye!